Hello, welcome to a new host of our video. Today we're going to look at how to manage VLANs on the UISP switch. So we published a video last week going over the new hardware of the UISP switch um, and some basic features, but today we're going to make a video for this uh, how-to ask we've got on the site discussing how to manage VLANs on the UISP switch. Ubiquiti hasn't quite finished the user interface on UISP for this device yet, and so there's some features that are moved into the old style GUI which we will take a look at how to access. So. I've got a USB switch adopted into my Hostify powered USB controller. Um, I've got a USB router as well that's offline, but this is the switch here. So you're in the new GUI. Um, the switch is opening up on the on the right hand side. Got the description of the ports, the IP address, all the information there. Um, but there's no obvious way how to manage the VLANs that are on the switch um, it's until you get to the old device details. So if you click this button here, it will open up the old style interface for USB and you NMS as well. Um, so it's got the dashboard of the device and the VLANs and different 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 bits and pieces there. So um, click on the VLANs tab and you can you can see how to edit this screen. So it's very similar to the edge switch um, and other Cisco devices that are out there. So uh, in our guide it, it shows how to make a new VLAN, um, goes through the process and how to tag VLANs as well. So we'll, we'll do that in video form as well. So we're going to make a new VLAN on the switch. So we're going to go for VLAN 50, VLAN 50, create a VLAN, and by default the VLAN is excluded on all the ports. So VLANs have three states in, well, in, in, in these switches anyway. They are either untagged, which only one VLAN can be untagged at a time on one specific port, and then there are VLANs that are tagged that are passed down to other devices for them to untag it um, for themselves. Um, so by default VLAN 50 is excluded on all ports. Uh, VLAN 1, the default VLAN, cannot be removed. That's just untagged on all ports. It's just sort of like VLAN 0, effectively. Um, so VLAN 50 is here. Uh, let's imagine that I want to use port 3 or port 2 on the switch. I'm going to get rid of uh, VLAN 1, and let's suggest VLAN 50 untagged. VLAN 50 untagged, that could be my management VLAN, and then I could have a, an access point connected to this device as well. Um, that I could have a guest VLAN on, so 30, I could have VLAN 35 as my guest VLAN, and then I want to tag that because the uh, device will be um, un untagging it for that SSID. So you just cycle through, cycle through the uh, the button there, and you've got the three different options. No, if you go to untagged, it'll have a red box. Um, there's no real explanation, but it's pretty obvious that uh, you can only tag um, one VLAN, at a uh, untag one VLAN at a time. So you can tag that VLAN as many ports as you want. Um, and yeah, that's that's how you untag and tag VLANs on the UISP switch. Hopefully at some point you'll be able to move the management GUI to the, the new user interface within UISP. Uh, at the moment it's not real, really possible to edit the, the VLANs on a mobile phone either um, using the UISP app. So that should make it a lot easier to do. Okay, thank you for watching this Hostify video. My name's Alex. Um, if you want to follow any more information about Hostify and what services we offer, go to hostify.com. The team is uh, available at support at hostify.com for any questions you need. And then also we have Hostify Pro, our network consulting service that we can help with any ubiquity hardware and software, uh, from VPNs, WISPs, anything wireless um, and wired as well. So thank you for watching. Um, if you want to subscribe, subscribe below. And as always, thank you for watching.